Well, he's covered some of the biggest stories across the Delmarva Peninsula and around the world. And at home, he seeks the truth, he brings accuracy, and he always gets results. So there's a reason that many call him the Walter Cronkite of Delmarva. Yeah, a veteran, a leader, a journalist, Steve Hammond. Congratulations, Steve, on 30 years of excellence on WBOC-TV. From everyone at Entertainment Tonight, congrats, man. Way to go. Congrats. <laughs> well, as we celebrate Steve's 30th anniversary here at WBOC, welcome back to you. To Sussex County now, where one coastal town is getting some new additions. The beach in South Bethany is empty right now, but in a few months, people may be serving and spiking the day away. Councilman Wayne Schrader is asking the town to install at least one beach volleyball net. He also wants picnic tables on the beach, in part so handicapped people have a place to sit an activity and you know we we are a family resort you know we're known as the best little beach in Delaware so why not continue to just better it and have activities for families. Councilman Schrader says he plans to get at least part of the project privately funded if that plan is approved he hopes to have the volleyball nets and picnic tables installed by next summer in South Bethany. We now have a preliminary cause of that barn fire that killed dozens of animals yesterday in Sussex County. This was the scene early Wednesday morning on Cannon Road in Long Neck. Investigators believe this was the result of a heat lamp igniting combustible materials nearby inside that barn. Four rescue horses, 20 barn cats, a number of chickens, even ducks all died in that Sussex County fire. Well, hard to believe mosquito season is almost here, but Delaware's Department of Natural Resources started its annual effort today to control the pest. Denrec was downstate today spraying for mosquitoes, and they are targeting woodland pools and other wet spots on the forest floor that may contain mosquito larvae. Denrec says the woodland's wetness affects how many acres can be sprayed. This year, drier conditions mean they'll spray between seven and 8,000 acres across Delaware. Well, it really felt like winter today. Again, Indeed a, a it did. chill in the air, yeah. but Chief Meteorologist Dan Satterfield says a spring-like weekend is right around the corner. Let's look live right now from our Nanticoke Health Services camera in Seaford. Dan is uh, forecasting a light freeze overnight, but just wait until Saturday. He tells us about our improving forecast next here on WBOC News at 6.